What's going on, YouTube family, boys and girls, ladies and gents? It's your man, Neg96, bringing you yet another video. This time we're going to be doing all the combat challenges in the base game of Batman Arkham City. And we're going to be doing this without taking damage, or as the game likes to call it, perfect night rating. As always, guys, if you enjoy my videos, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me make more videos as well. We're going to be covering a, night, a lot of nice tips and tricks in this little showcase here I put together to help you get those high scores. Now bear with me guys, the first three fights, the, video didn't, the videos didn't come out too great, they're a little sped up. I recorded all this on the Xbox One and I used the OneDrive feature. Uh, after these first three fights though, everything should be alright. So this first fight here, we're doing a blind justice uh, on normal difficulty. And um, we're going to be going for high scores. Now, school night. notice that the metal requirement is 24,000 here. You know, surprisingly enough with Batman Arkham City fights or any Batman game in general. If you chain high combos in the later rounds, you could pretty much net all those points in just one round, which is great. Um, a few things I did in the normal fights, as opposed to the extreme fights. In the normal fights, I didn't use as much gadget variety as I should have done. Uh, you'll notice I do more uh, strike strings, a bunch of counters. And I do the uh, Batman non-gadget uh, special combo breakers. So I'll be using a lot of weapon disarms. I'll be using the instant KO combo breaker. And that one that you just saw there is the, um, the stun breaker that Batman has. It's a nice big area of effect attack that... Uh, puts off a lot of enemy spacing and it gives you the opportunity to follow up with more strikes whichever you prefer I don't have time for this I know this round three I already got that 24,000 score rating so streak is going pretty good here now guys to get those high scores you do want to chain that high variety you know chain those strings chain those combos you notice there I got in the red meter. The red meter opens us up to a new set of moves. So it further increases Batman's potential there. Uh, let's see here. Yep. There we go. I did that uh, multi-KO ground finisher. That's another one of uh, Batman's special combo breakers. And I take advantage of that throughout my whole series set. There we go. Now, as I said before, you know, in order to maximize these scores, you want to chain as much variety as possible. I finished up a lot of those uh, rounds there using the triple cape stun as well as the ground pound finisher. Because those are two moves that you don't usually do throughout the fight, considering um, uh, the large amount of frame data that's required. So we're going over here, Survival of the Fittest on Normal. This is the... This is the difficulty type that does not yet introduce the Titan. So we're just going to be fighting regular enemies here throughout the fight. All these normal difficulty fights just has uh, regular enemies. Uh, it has some armored enemies. And we also have enemies with knives and later on in the prison right we're going to be introduced to enemies with shields and uh, stun batons. Now those types of enemies uh, are encountered in pretty much every combat challenge in the extreme uh, difficulty. So I'll be showing you guys how I go on about that. Right, coming into this next round Just here, round three, Fitting. survival of the fittest. Start off with the bat claw uh, gadget variety, and follow up my combo here. 
Since we're dealing with a lot of normal enemies, we could follow up for a pretty nice clean uh, Batman stun combo breaker, the area of effect attack that you saw there. And that lets us follow us up, you know, that, that lets us follow up with a whole bunch of other ones. As you saw here, multiple strikes. After I finish doing that, you know, I pretty much uh, go for the other combo breakers that I haven't used yet. So in this particular fight, I did the multi-KO ground finisher, and now I'm actually building up my combo here and uh, just getting a big, uh, big meter there. You know, the, the way Batman games work, if you guys aren't quite familiar, is that your score actually multiplies the higher your combo streak. So it's super advantageous for rounds with more enemies in them. And actually extending and holding the meter all the way up until the finish. It's fantastic. There we go. We got the stun finisher there. Following up into more combos. Now over here, if you guys notice, uh, we are encountering a enemy uh, that throws items to you from the distance. Now those enemies can be quite dangerous, especially for no damage playthrough if you're doing that. If you aren't careful, you know, they'll get you. And sometimes their throws can be really unpredictable. But for the most case, from what I found out, is that they mostly throw things at you if you get in close proximity to them. Luckily enough, you could easily take them out just by throwing a batarang or a uh, electric uh, stun gadget at them. So it makes them much more manageable. Of course, dealing with multiple enemies uh, at once is quite hectic, and you're gonna see that in the extreme playthrough. That's round two, guys. Really clean. Got the perfect night bonus there. Now we're coming on to rooftop rumble on normal difficulty. Starting off with that back claw. Very nice. Multiple strikes. We're extending our combo meter there with a quick stun into a beatdown on regular thugs. You'll see that I chain beatdown combos a lot just because it really amps up that score benchmark there. Now, Coming up into the enemy, a ground pound there. You guys want to be very careful with the one you execute your ground pounds. Like I said before, the high frame data it takes to input those moves makes you wide open for enemy attacks, should there be any remaining. Now we're coming up onto the armored person here. Notice that I was able to catch that throwable object there just in the nick of time. And there's another guy. Quick strike allowed me to get him before he threw that item at me. The alternative is bat claw or electric gadget. Any of those were just as great. I gotta show you guys my uh, my gadget combo breakers. I haven't done any yet and we're gonna be doing that really soon. Just because, uh, you know, big variety scores, lots of bonuses. It's great. Coming up into round three, Rooftop Rumble. Notice there's a whole lot of other guys here. We're actually going to be getting our 32,000 score requirement in this round. Just because there's a lot of guys. Multi-KO, ground finisher into a beatdown. Two guys with uh, throwable objects there. Followed up by many strikes encounters. Multi-stun, area of effect, into a beatdown. That's an awesome chain. That's, that's pretty much one of my staples. And now we're coming up into the red meter. Nice finish there with the triple cape stun into a ground pound. Another great staple for max score variety. So 
see you guys we're already uh we're already on our way towards 50,000 points here just keeping up that variety got the batman stun there i tried a uh, multi-ground ko there but i uh, didn't quite pull it off didn't have any enemies on the ground to work with this is another great uh combo extender here do a quick uh Bat stun on the armored guy, follow up with a beatdown, and then counter any enemies that come across you as you do the full beatdown combo on them. Uh, you want to be especially mindful on how you go on about that because sometimes you get, get the shielded or baton enemies to get after you while you're doing a beatdown combo, or even knife enemies. And if you're not careful, that'll ruin your, your run. So the best way to go on about those, we have a few choices there. We could either go into a combo breaker, which is which gives us iframe advantage, or you could do a evade over the enemy you're beat downing, which gives us more iframe advantage. Now we're at Hell's Gate regular. Starting off round one with the ninjas. Now these ninjas are very particular on how you have to beat them down. Uh, you can't go any, you can't do ground pounds on them because they quickly get up and retaliate from them. So the best way to go on about killing ninjas is to do a beatdown on them. Any combo breaker works as well. Gadget combo breakers. Uh, and regular strikes if you time it well. If you do an evade over them and strike them from the back, that usually gets them. Multi ground finish you there into a, a wreck. Uh, electric gadget yeah. We're gonna rip you even though we aren't using our gadgets for the combo breaker finishers if you use the gadgets throughout the fight no matter you know combo breaker or not you'll still get the gadget variety bonus for your score so that's that's a great thing to do remember you have your back claw you have your battering you have your freeze grenades you have your electric gadget and you have your explosive gel you use all those in one round you're guaranteed a top score and right there now good news guys if you noticed uh, on this video we're back at uh, regular video speed I, like I said I don't know why we got th that that stupid video lag for the first three fights, but it is what it is. Now for the remainder of the video, we're gonna we're gonna be all right with our video speed here. Got another throwable guy. I was able to get him before he threw that object at me. Unsuccessful multi-ground finisher. Add enough spacing there so I did the triple cape stun and since I knocked out that guy it gave me a nice follow-up to go ahead and do a ground pound on the other guy and then I finally finished off with my aerial attack great score streak there not as many not as many enemies uh, to work with as round two but still a great enough amount multi-stun if you guys noticed uh, th from these fights the um, multi area of effect uh, combo breaker stun is one of my go-to staples for the first combo breaker use just because it gets us that nice space there's so many things you could do to follow up with it I can't mention it enough right after you do the multi-stun you know you could do multiple consecutive strikes and then you could follow up with a uh, multi-ground finisher if you want. That's a great strategy to use. Now we're taking care of all the guys here. We didn't quite do a uh, combo, a gadget combo takedown there. Instead of we, ju we just used the uh, the KO confirmed combo breaker. Got another one there. You'll notice that I'll be using the KO confirmed combo breakers a lot on the ninjas just because it guarantees their KO. 
the last ninja here. Two strikes, and that pulled it off. Nice guys, that's Hell's Gate regular. Got the perfect night rating on that as well. Now we're coming up into the next fight now. Mm. My favorite combat map, Funhouse Brawl on both normal and extreme. Lots of enemy variety, super fun. You'll notice in this fight I'll actually use the combat, t uh, the gadget breaker, uh, the gadget breaker attacks. So you'll uh, be able to witness the variety I have for the huge scores for that. Triple bat stun into a ground pound staple, guaranteed, uh, guaranteed max score for round one. There we go. This is not good. So off of the back claw, we got regular enemies that we're working with here. And we're introduced with a shield guy as well. Here I actually used my weapon disarm combo breaker on the shield, just because it gets us um, more score, right? It doesn't... The, um, the disarm doesn't actually hurt anybody or confirm any KOs. It's just a great thing to do to whip out that maximum score multiplier. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you use it throughout your fights. Now, I don't know if you guys saw that there, but uh, I was in uh, detective vision mode and I actually used my electric uh, combo breaker. That gave us more variety there. Round three, this is going to be where I use even more variety. Following up with strikes. A multi-ground finisher. Going into a uh, armored person beatdown and following up with counter strings. That's great score bonus here, provided you do it correctly. Now we're in red. Let's see, there we go. You guys saw that. We did the electric combo breaker. Awesome for variety. Following up into a area of effect stun. got the KO confirmed on the red armored enemy. Lots of versatility to be done here in Batman combat mode. There we go. You saw there I got two stun confirms from my uh, battering combo breaker. I haven't mentioned this before but uh, in case you guys weren't aware the only time you can execute your gadget combo breakers is if you have the red score meter right after hitting uh, a, 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 a consecutive combo of 10 and above without doing a combo breaker beforehand. Now see here we, uh, we're encountering a... I don't know what you call these guys. These guys are like... We're encountering a wild rush big armored rush. <laughs> These guys don't have actual attack notifiers, so you have to be uh, very mindful of when they uh, swing their attacks. Their attacks are very slow, but they do do a lot of damage. Um, they become especially hectic on rounds where you're fighting multiple mini-bosses at the same time. So if you notice here, I'm doing a beatdown combo on the Russian, just so I can feed my red score multiplier. And throughout the fight there, I used my my freeze grenade combo breaker, which frees that whole vicinity of enemies there. And I used a variety of other combo breakers as well. Multi-combo. Into a stun. Now we're coming up with the red meter now. There we go. We're planning that. Um, there we go. You just saw a explosive gel combo breaker. So throughout this fight, we were able to string a electric gadget combo breaker, an electric gel combo breaker, a battering combo breaker, 
and I forgot if I said freeze grenade, but a freeze grenade combo breaker as well. As well as all of the Batman melee combo breakers. The stun area of effect combo breaker, multi-ground combo breaker, KO confirm combo breaker. And that should be all of them. You know, that's all of them done in just one fight. It's fantastic. There you have it guys, a top score. Funhouse Brawl, PB, perfect night. Now we're coming up onto Prison Riot. This is going to be the last combat challenge of the normal series that I'm going to be covering today. Here we encounter uh, a stun baton enemy. Just as I said previously with the shield enemies, uh, using the weapon disarm on the stun baton enemies is fantastic for the score, the score multiplier. Now we were red combo there, and uh, I went ahead and did my area of effect combo breaker just for the multiple stun variety. Finishing up with a bat claw slam there. Since I already did a back claw slam at the start of the fight, doing another back claw slam doesn't yield a variety bonus, but it's still a great finisher to do, especially if the opponent is out of range. Over there, if you notice, I actually had an opponent throw that item at me, but I was able to evade, uh, which gave me iframes at the last possible second. KO confirm. Got a nice score variety there. Now we use the Bat Claw combo breaker on that enemy there. Now we're following up with a triple cape stun, ending up with a ground pound finisher. That's not going to get us the third medal, but uh, it puts us off at a nice lead Are towards it. For We're going to be getting the third medal on this third round here. What are you gonna do, for here we have one throwable enemy. We have a shield enemy as well. There we go. Notice I just did the the throw cancel by shooting my electric gadget at him. We have another enemy here, but instead of risking the strike, I went ahead and I evaded over him just so he could drop his item. I'd rather have him drop his item than risk me a potential uh, hit. We have another enemy there. Shot him again. We're coming up. Got the aerial attack on the shield into a battering on the item guy. These item guys are really quick. So you have to keep an eye out for them while they're in the distance over there. Finishing off with the staple triple combo, triple uh, back, back cape stun into a ground pound, max score variety. We're already up after the or past the four, 40,000 score benchmark. Here we go. Yeah. This is a big round here. Prison Riot regular. We have a bunch of uh, enemies that throw items at you. We have a armored enemy. We have a few shield enemies, a stun baton enemy. You know, we we have the full package here, guys. So this is where a lot of your variety gets tested here, your combat reflex. Guaranteed KO on the armored enemy there. Into a baton disarm into a beat down counter combo chain. And if you notice there before I allowed the knife enemy to do his attack, I went ahead and used my KO confirm combo breaker. Got a nice uh, area of effects done right there. Ideally you want to use it when you have a bunch of regular enemies just because the armored enemies and the shield enemies uh, don't react to it and they could come after you and follow up with another attack shortly after so it could put you at a disadvantage there. 
Got a knife disarm. Confirmed the KO on that guy. Now we're going to do our triple back cape stun and our ground pound staple. Now that's prison ride on normal guys. Perfect night. Nice score there. Almost hit that hundred thousand. Now we're coming up onto the the hard difficulty, or as the game calls it, the extreme series. Now, no, some more apologies for you guys. The uh, this clip also has some weird strange lag going on. I really think it's something to do with the quality of the of the upload, uploading it from my computer onto my video editor. Something might have went wrong there, which made it lag. You are mine. This should be the only fight where I encounter this issue in the Extreme series. But uh, all strategies remain pretty similar from this point on. Uh, in the Extreme series, though, we're just given a lot more options to use. A lot more enemies, you know, a lot more versatile enemies. Finishing round one there. Going into round two. Blind Justice Extreme. I use my electric gadget there to stun armored enemy. It works great. Some more combo chains into a freeze grenade throw. I didn't use a combo breaker freeze grenade, I just used a regular freeze grenade just to freeze that one enemy there and get us that gadget variety bonus. Very nice. Got the confirm. And then we did the freeze break combo breaker. That's all of them. Now keep in mind guys, when you freeze enemies solid, you can't do a lot of a lot of moves you can regularly do. Ah, you this. can't do a lot of moves you, you can regularly do. So the only thing you could really do is follow up with a strike, or if they're frozen solid on the ground, you'll be forced to do a ground pound, as they can't recover from that. Very important if you want to maintain your flawless free flow bonus. Nice multi stun area of effect. When in doubt, guys, always, always make sure to evade. You don't want to risk improperly timing a counter or getting caught up in some other mumbo jumbo. So, using an, an evade is the best to go to for safety. Got a KO confirm on that guy there. And I did an evade right there just so I could follow up into my triple back cape stun into a ground pound uh, finisher. There you have it guys. Blind Justice Extreme. Sped up a bit, sorry for that. Now we're coming up on Survival of the Fittest. Uh, this challenge is great. This is the first time we're going to encounter uh, enemy titan. So I'll show you how uh, I go on about doing that. Starting up the fight with the back claw into a electric gadget for the stunt. Into a beatdown. We're going to chain that beatdown there. Into a KO confirm combo breaker. And now we're doing the triple stun ground pound staple finish. Into a bat claw yet again. A nice staple to start off the fight. You guys want to be very careful with how you execute your bat claws as well. Because if you aren't careful, you could execute a back claw starting the fight, and then you could uh, get hit by a shield enemy shortly after. Shield enemies are the quickest and uh, quickest melee enemies in the game. Right next to the ninjas, of course. 
Now this here I actually mounted the Titan. The way you go on about that is if you noticed I did the triple back kick stun on him. And that'll make him completely vulnerable for the next, you know, uh, 10 seconds or so. So, right after you go on about doing that, you can actually follow up into any other counter chains as you would with any beatdown uh, counter chain combo. Now with Titans, you'll only have two uh, opportunities to mount them. The third time you do a beatdown on them, you'll do a KO. There we go, that's a nice score streak. Coming up onto round three now, starting off with that back clock. Now we'll have a lot of guys here, a lot of uh, options to do a bunch of variety score streaks. We won't have to worry about uh, Titans or uh, Russian Brutes or anything like that. There you go, effect stun into a multi-strike multi string and then a multi-ground combo breaker. Uh, yeah, there you have it, I actually cancelled that enemy's item throw. He was holding a fire hydrant. And if you throw a battering into a fire hydrant, it sparks some smoke. Now the, um... I think this game's built-in detective vision for, you know, automated detective vision after you get in a smoke area isn't so accurate because it tends to go off on itself and you'll still be blinded by smoke. So when you guys encounter something like that, I highly recommend that you manually go into detective vision and go out of it yourself. Now uh, if you also notice there, I did lose my flawless free flow bonus there. And that tends to happen if you uh, miscalculate a counter. So that's that's quite problematic there, but uh, it should. We still have the all three medals there, and we're on track for the perfect night bonus as well. This is last round here. Just got on the Titan. Now the Titan has a few moves. You know, you could do a. Uh, full-on rush with the Titan if you press square or Xbox's version of X. Uh, you can also do a ground pound with the Titan. But be aware guys if you do any of those special moves with the Titan um, you'll be limited on the total mounting time. So that's why I prefer to just do regular attacks with the Titan. It still gets the job done and it grants us a nice uh, score multiplier as well. There you have it. I used the freeze grenade combo breaker, but I couldn't quite get the lock on to many enemies, so it just combo breaked onto one enemy on his own. We have it, electric gadget combo breaker. And finally finishing off survival of the fittest extreme with our staple. There you have it guys. Fantastic score there, well above the 100,000 score benchmark. Now we're coming up on Rooftop Rumble Extreme. This is another fun one. Let's make this Starting off the fight with another backclaw staple. Luckily our shield enemy didn't get the better of us here. And now I did a beat claw there just to give this other enemy here more uh, room to get up and come after me. All 
right, second wave. We actually we have a bunch of regular enemies here, and we also have a few ninja spawns. Shield disarm combo breaker. Battering uh, cancel. And now we're in the red score streak with a electric gadget combo breaker. Gave us um, a bunch of stuns for a brief period of time. So let us follow up with more attacks. See there, I didn't want to risk the strike, so I went ahead and evaded him because I knew he was about to throw that item at me. Now we're gonna go off and finish off this round with our state. There you have the guys round two. Almost uh, achieved the third medal. Shield combo breaker into a battering cancel on the enemy holding the item. Into a multi ground KO confirmed. And now, just to spice up that variety, I went ahead and planted that explosive gel. Even though it wasn't a combo breaker, we still got the explosive gel variety bonus. And we got the shield disarm combo breaking it again. Now we're in the red score. Holding that red score into a beatdown. Into a guaranteed KO. Following into a triple cape stun ground pound staple combo finish. Nice big score there. Are you looking for me? Now we're uh, on round four. We're encountering another Russian brute. The same strategy applies if you happen to see my Funhouse Brawl uh, challenge. You know, I, I go ahead and unleash my beatdown combo on him just to feed up that red, uh, that red uh, multiplier meter, so I could follow up with more gadget varieties. Bam! Freeze grenade combo breaker into a back claw cancel, or sorry, a. a a battering cancel. Into a electric gadget combo breaker. And now we have the ninja spawns. One thing about the area of effect combo breaker is that once you execute it, you can instantly KO the first enemy you do a regular strike on after you finish up doing that attack. Finished up with all the ninjas there, and finally ending the round with our staple. There you have it guys, Rooftop Rumble Extreme, Perfect Night, Flawless Free Flow all around. Very nice. Almost hit that 2,000 score benchmark. Now we're on Hell's Gate Extreme. This one has a lot more variety, but uh, our battlefield is a bit more secluded in space. Area of Effect Combo Breaker allows us with spacing. Red score into an electric gadget combo breaker. Damn. Very 
us keeping that red combo meter going to the ground pound. And that was a close call, guys. We almost had that enemy there get the better of us just because I lost sight of him. Thankfully, I ended the round. Perfect free flow, perfect night. Doing a combo on him. Or, sorry, a counter on him. <clears throat> All worked out. Shield disarm. And a stun baton disarm. KO confirm on the red armored soldier. Yeah, we're working with a bunch of enemies here, so did the area of effect stun attack. Works very great in this particular instance. Into a beatdown into a electric gadget stuff. Following you up with the staple. It's only round two guys and we already got off the medals. Aerial attack on that shield enemy gave us another move variety. Battering cancel. Another aerial combo there. Couldn't quite connect the electric gadget on that item enemy, so I went ahead and evaded over him just to avoid risking the potential damage. KO confirmed, followed into a staple. Round three guys coming up on the final round now. Hell's Gate Extreme. You fools are gone down. We'll make sure this hurts you. Got the KO confirm on the armored enemy there. Gives us more wiggle room. And a stun baton disarm. Into a successful electric gadget item cancel on that goon. Disarm. Now we're wide open to do a uh, multi stun combo breaker if I'm going with that. Instead, I uh, amped up the variety there with the electric gel. Into a electric gadget combo breaker. Into a KO confirm. into a multi-ground. There you go, yeah, it, if you saw that guys, I did lose my fr flawless free flow. I was not expecting those two ninjas to drop dead after doing my uh, multi-stun breaker. But that just comes to show it to you guys that the, the multi-stun combo breaker also has KO potential. So keep that in mind. There we go, Hell's Gate Extreme. Got a nice score there, perfect night. Now we're going on to the, in my opinion, the hardest challenge in base game to do a perfect night and flawless free flow. It's gonna be Funhouse Brawl Extreme, hands down. Coming up on the first fight here, doing as we've been doing uh, consistently now. Chaining these combos. Did a item cancel on that 
enemy there to a baton disarm. We have more space here, so we're going with our staple. And finally, finishing it off with a back claw drag just to get our enemy closer to us into a aerial attack since he was carrying a shield. Got us a uh, plus 10k score benchmark on the first round there, which is quite great. Now, uh, now we have a Russian brute soldier and we also have a Titan, so that gives us quite the variety we're working with here. So starting off, I did keep my spacing and I did allow the Titan to finish his charge before I would make contact. So you notice there I was able to triple stun him, get on him without receiving any damage, which is only good. Now I did the freeze grenade combo breaker on the brute just to make him or just to render him immobile for a brief period of time. He did try to give us a lunge attack there but thankfully my spacing was good and I was out of range therefore I avoided impact. But now we're going on to the second titan mount and the final titan mount. We're going to maximize these enemy KOs while we're on him into another freeze grenade combo breaker just to give us more wiggle room on this titan here. There you have it. Titan's down. Into an aerial. Now we're following up Finishing up on this brute enemy here. It's a clean round. Coming up onto round three now. There aren't going to be any special enemy types. We're just a lot of enemies here. So round three is where I'm actually going to maximize my variety. I'm going to try and get on every com uh, every gadget combo breaker using uh, one flawless free flow score streak. We got our first combo breaker there, which is the KO Confirm. I'll keep note of it, guys. We got combos there, counters. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do another KO Confirm. Just planted the explosive grenade there, and building up my score streak. I'm gonna get in the red range, just so I can do the explosive gel combo breaker. Bam, right there. That's that one done out of the way. Into a shield aerial. Now we're on red score again. Into a electric gadget combo breaker. Into a multi area of effect stun combo breaker. Red range again into a shield disarm. I went ahead and I did the triple kip stun on this enemy soldier while then taking that guy, uh, hurting him a bit just so I could get enough timing to execute my ground pound. We didn't get the freeze grenade combo breaker, but we still got a really nice score streak there, guys. Flawless free flow, perfect night. And that's going to be the goal for this round as well. Keep in mind, you know, we have our Russian brute just behind us. You want to evade his attacks while you also do the beatdown on the Titan here. Or else you'll lose your you no know, damage. We got our first Titan mount on one of the Titans here. Now we're going to go on the first Titan mount on this other Titan. That other Titan did try to rush us, so I went ahead and evaded. And uh, going to switch up 
positions and go into the second Titan mount on this first Titan that we initially mounted. Maximizing the enemies. Into a freeze grenade. This Russian Brood is another variable, he's an added variable, so taking him out early on and then going for the two Titans offers uh, great flexibility and more wiggle to be able to execute this without taking damage. That's one Titan down. I went ahead and evaded the knife thrower. Sorry, the knife uh, enemy. Coming up on this Titan mount here. Triple cape stone on the Titan because of uh, good enemy spacing. I went ahead and got the KO confirm on this enemy soldier. And now we're encountered with a shield enemy. Like I said before, they have the fastest uh, strike frame. So you want to be very, very, very mindful of when to dodge their attacks. I didn't want to risk anything, so I went ahead and did a KO confirm combo breaker on the shield enemy. And then I finished my free flow of chain on the Titan there. So there you have it guys, the hardest challenge. Perfect night, flawless free flow done on all four rounds. Very nice. Uh, we're coming up on the very last challenge of the video. This is gonna be Prison Break Extreme, or sorry, Prison Riot Extreme. Tons of variety here. We got uh, two stun baton enemies from the get-go. Got the got the baton disarm times two. And the multi-ground combo breaker. Into a area of effects combo breaker. Just because these are en regular enemies. Gives us more options and flexibility. And finally, ending the round with the staple finisher. Bat claw to start the chain. Got a KO confirm on a regular enemy there into a shield aerial. KO confirm on the ninja. You want to get rid of these ninjas early on, they could be hectic and cause more issues down the road. Multi ground and uh, KO confirm on the one ninja there. Aerial confirm. Now we're in the red score. Into a triple bat cape stun. Counter, and then finally executing the staple ground pound ground finisher. Awesome score streak there. Starting off with yet another back claw. You want some? Fine with me. We'll make sure this hurts you Since these enemy types aren't too uh, drawn out, you know, we have a lot of wiggle room to do our area of effect combo breaker following up into more things. There we go. 
Okay, the fact we had our shield enemy try showing us a little resistance there. Shield disarm, and now we have clean enemies. We could just go ahead and get these combos. Clean strike combos. Into an electric gadget combo breaker. My spacing was good there, thankfully, and I did get hit by those enemies. And uh, finally ending the round with the staple. Alright, that was round three, guys. We're coming up on this last round and shortly coming to a close in the video. We have more guys here, even more variety. We have two armored units, we have a shield guy, and we have a couple item throwers that are going to be active throughout the fight. We also have one stun baton enemy and a bunch of knife enemies as well. KO confirm on one of the armored soldiers and did a battering cancel on the item enemy. Nice stun baton disarm. And now that was the shield enemy. We should be good to do a nice uh, strike score. Ah, he's taken care of. But we got another shield enemy now. So we're going to have to do a shield disarm on him. Coming up on the smoke area. Uh, electric gadget come breaker aerial effect combo breaker and finally the shield to this one and now we're Coming to a close with the regular enemies, so we did spawn in the ninjas. Kyo confirm on the ninja there. Another Kyo confirm. Evade and strike to the back just for those guaranteed hit connects. And finally, a beat down finisher. Alright guys, that's going to be all of the base game combat challenges. Three medals done with no damage for you. I hope you enjoyed this showcase. This is a nice little final score roster of what I have going on. Uh, these are my first time PBs. Would love to see what kind of PBs you guys put together, so feel free to drop down a comment in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you thought of the video. And um, please subscribe to stay tuned for more content done by your boy, Neg96. Hasta la vista, family.